Jim Henson was a true artist. It was a remarkable body of work. It was something that had never been done before in quite the same way, and I'm sure will never ever be done again. Jim Henson was born on September 24, 1936, in Greenville, Mississippi, and spent his teen years in suburban Washington, D.C. When he was 17, he saw an advertisement for a children's television show that was looking for young puppeteers. He didn't know anything about puppetry, so he went to the library, he got a couple books, and he made some puppets, auditioned, and got the part. By his freshman year at the University of Maryland, Henson had his own five-minute show, Sam and Friends, where Kermit the Frog made his debut. Jim recruited a fellow student, Jane Nebel, to assist him on the show. Jim and Jane were married in 1959 and had five children, all of whom work in the family trade. My parents really wanted all of us to, to learn the trade, learn the craft, know what we were doing, really understand how the company worked, but also how to really puppeteer and how to build puppets. In 1963, Henson hired 19-year-old Frank Oz to help with the Jimmy Dean Show, where Rolf the Dog was featured weekly. Whether it was uh, Bert and Ernie on Sesame Street, or Kermit and Piggy, or Kermit and Fozzie on The Muppet Show, or any number of other combinations in which they worked. It was just, I mean, those of us who would be on the set when they were working together, generally it became a very bad working environment because everybody was laughing so hard. <laughs> in 1968, Henson was approached to work on a new children's show. Sesame Street premiered on November 10, 1969, and won a Peabody Award and three Emmys its first season. They didn't really expect the incredible, the way that it was embraced by the public. Big Bird was on the cover of Time magazine. He was out hosting the Emmys. He was doing all kinds of stuff. After five years on Sesame Street, Jim wanted to break into primetime family television. Both ABC and CBS passed on The Muppet Show, which would go on to be nominated for Outstanding Variety, Music, or Comedy Emmy each of its five seasons, winning in 1978. It was translated into many different languages and was in over 120 countries very quickly. In 1979, Kermit and the gang hit the big screen in The Muppet Movie, the first of their three feature films during Henson's lifetime. Henson spent the early 80s developing the fantasy film The Dark Crystal and the children's show Fraggle Rock. The Fraggles were broadcast around the world and won five international Emmys. However, both The Dark Crystal and Henson's other fantasy film, The Labyrinth, initially failed to impress critics and audiences. But over the years, they have found their audience. And people can recognize the honesty, the heart, the soul that went into both of these films. They really meant a lot to my dad, and they're beautiful pieces of work. After a very short, sudden illness, Jim Henson died on May 16, 1990, in New York City. It was a shock to everybody. Nobody thought that he was that sick. It was a very, very fast illness. It took him very quickly. He left such a huge legacy, and he touched so many people, not just audiences, but the people he worked with, that in the last 20 some odd years, it's really been a celebration of Jim that has continued, and new generations still connect with him, but mostly with the work.